Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel, Masses32210. We're back here on another part of this build. I was just kind of, I'm going to call it another part to this series. It was more like an update, figuring a lot of stuff out, coming up with a lot of ideas. Like, uh, this is one idea. I came up with it, and my wife actually helped improve it. Let me see if we can get a little better uh, close up on that. This was a pinup girl sticker that was like on a playing card. I originally tried to set it on there. I didn't like the way it looked, so my wife came up with the idea. Why not go ahead and cut it out? She trimmed it out for me with an X-Acto. Plopped this one on this side. I kind of like the look of that retro uh, look of the card. Or I'm sorry, not the card, but the sticker. And while I was up at Pet Boys, I went ahead. We picked up, picked up two of them that day. This is the other one. So I was like, well, you know, why not? Uh, just had in the mail two packages arrive for this project. One of them was this custom-made throttle cable. Some gentleman had it uh, in Arizona, I believe. I believe it was Arizona. Um, I trimmed off about four foot of it, but it was uh, perfect. Ended up taking off the original cable, rehooking this. We're still playing with mounting this down. Ran it. Just this is all temporarily right now. Um, still mocking everything up. But the cool thing about it, let's see if I can grab this camera. Uh, I didn't grab the tripod for it. But if you notice, I have the cable coming down, doing a loop down to this little mount coming through and got it hooked right there. So now that, so now I've got actual throttle. So we figure that out. Sorry guys for the shakiness. Um, something else, I don't know if I've showed all this, but we're going to go through it today. I was at Pet Boys. Um, I believe it was the same day that I picked the stickers up. I found this little breather. So we went ahead and put this little chrome breather on there. We got that set up there. I just got it zippy tied right now to the motor. Oh, it doesn't let it flop around excessively. So that's been uh, perfect. Simple little zippies, got a little, uh, I don't know what you call it, little clamp right there. Clamping it to a short little piece of pipe, or tubing should I say. Yes, I accidentally bent it, just goofing around, not, it wasn't intentional. If you notice down here, got the custom made air cleaner. This is just a simple one barrel carburetor uh, uh, air cleaner. Something a lot of the older cars would use like the if they're running the triple uh, the triple carburetors or the deuces, the dual little one barrels. All I did with this is um, simple little setup. Took the original carburetor, took the gasket that came with the carburetor and uh, made a or traced it on a piece of little stainless that I had. Cut it out, drilled the holes. Um, JB welded the little piece of stainless to this. Got it all cut out. Let me see, we'll take this off and I'll show you. This was a uh, cool little ideas I came up with. And it simply held on. Just got a simple little bar. Just holds it nice and tight against the, um, the gasket. Had to put a little bolt in there uh, on before the original hold down bolts. That's just because of the spacing of the original the threaded rods that were on there. Because if you remember in my last video, like I was saying is, in case I ever have to return this thing for any uh, mechanical failure on the internals, I want to be able to put it back to the original like stock. Um, so far I haven't had any issues. We got it to start. Not thanking Harbor Freight, because when they give you an instruction book, of course they don't give you everything and let me see if I can find it this black wire right here what they don't tell you in the instructions that when that wire comes from the factory hooked up that is the kill switch which I already kinda knew there was going to be a kill wire on here the problem is is they don't actually tell you to unhook it before you start the motor you would think that it's completely hooked up to the key so after trying for a day to get it started and I finally gave up just goofing around I come I thought about it Follow this wire right here, all the way down, unhooked the wire itself. When I unhooked it, hit the key, it started right up. Ah, uh, something else. This isn't the 100% the prettiest thing I've come up with, 
but it functions perfect. Came through, took the original gasket off the original muffler, made my own flange. Um, after I made the flange, I was trying to figure out how I can bend the tubing, but it's such a precise bend, I couldn't really figure it out. And I was talking to a buddy of mine, Jeremy, and he was talking, we were talking about uh, galvanized pipe, and he said, why not? Took a short piece of galvanized, threaded it into a 90. This is another, I think this is a one foot piece originally. I set, set up the length I wanted, cut it, and welded it up here at the flange. Did a perfect 90, and I was goofing around. And I said, hey, why not? This is an old tip that I got from the junkyard uh, like over 10 years ago. Got goofing around, put it on here, and when I cranked the motor up the other day, that thing sounded awesome. Now, for protection, if you notice, uh, the galvanized does change colors once it's hot. And yes, this thing it becomes like a super hot. So what I did was up on... Uh, up here on the bench while I was up at Pep Boy, no this is from uh, my buddies at Advanced we got the locking zip ties, the stainless steel ones of course you can't uh, cannot go wrong with exhaust header wrapping, this is the one inch I believe this was like a 50 foot roll not like I actually needed all 50 foot but you know it's nothing that's going to hurt having extra in the shop so what I planned on we're gonna I'm gonna wrap it as far as I can come up here near the bolts come all the way up and I'll wrap it to approximately like right here the heat itself stops I think right in this area but we're gonna probably come right up to here now this is another thing it doesn't is this is not nowhere near finished um, this is just goofing around coming up with some of the basic ideas if you notice let me grab the tag while I was out the other day, I went ahead and went to the DMV. I had to register all the vehicles because my birthday was had come up. So what I decided was have the tag back here. I love the way it's kicked up at an angle. And yes, that is an antique plate because the original neck is off the 72 Yamaha. Only difference is this isn't a 125 for uh, 125 two-stroke anymore. It's a 420 cc. Uh, I guess you'd call it a, a go-kart engine. I love the idea how I come up with, how it kicks the tail light up. This is still something I'm playing with right here. It still has to be all bolted down properly and everything. Excuse me for the messed up video. I'm trying to do this one-handed. So at least uh, I've come up with the idea how to mount the tail lights the, the, and the turn signals and all that. Got the motor mounts figured out to weld it in. Um, the headlight, I love this just single 55 watt headlight, don't need nothing major, got the, like I was telling you earlier, got the throttle cable done, ended up stopping by a little uh, golf cart specialty store, I was going to actually buy one of those wheels, and I got talking with a girl, and she told me how they had to pay to get rid of them, and that was the magic word, so I was like, can I have a couple, she's like, take what you want. I only seen two in the throwaway pile. She was explaining to me how they had bad tires, and I was like, hey, not worried about the tires. I wanted to see if I can get golf cart wheels to fit on here. And the answer is no. Um, these are four on four. This is from what I gather is four on four and a quarter. So the only other thing I've come up with is I've found another type of tire to put on here that is close size. It's an inch shorter than these but it's an inch wider so it should make it bubble up to about the same it's the only choice I have because it's either that or I'm going to have to keep digging on the internet for several more hours to try to find a set of wheels that will fit on here or I do have the option of making having adapters made to go from four and a quarter down to four on four and that might be an option to get golf cart rims on here well guys this is another uh, episode on this fun build uh, oh, before I let y'all go, we finally did get the inner tube in for the front tire, so that's getting ready to go on by possibly paint the front wheel. But guys, if you have not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel, Massive32210. Please give me a thumbs up. Hey, at least let me know that I've done something right. This is definitely a fun toy. 
And uh, to Mr. Fidel Veal, I believe, that left me the nasty comment on my first video. Hey, I've got 60 plus videos. I'm sitting here having fun making a toy. Not sitting here criticizing anybody and then never have across YouTube for trying something that's out of the box. Sir, put some videos on your channel, at least one. You've been on the YouTube for a year and you have the audacity to criticize my build when I'm sitting there having fun building something. Sir, I've never gave no other bike builder a bad name because this is my project. This is for me. Guys, thank y'all and I had to get that rant out because that dude just irked the heck out of me for that little retarded comment that he decided to put out there. Thank you so much and God bless you all.